Hello everyone, my name is Michael Schmidt and I'm the Genetic Information Analyst at Accelerated Genetics. Today we'll be briefly recalling some of the impactful sires uh, that Accelerated Genetics has had over the years, which hopefully will add some more clarity to our current genetic selection tools and ways for your cows to be more profitable on your farm. The Dairy Wellness Profit Index is uh, the newest index to hit the industry and it's the most encompassing combination of traits to identify healthy, profitable cows. Accelerate Genetics has made this index available on all of its sires, ranging from young sires based on genomic evaluations to proven sires uh, with many daughter observations. Today we're going to focus specifically on two proven, highly reliability sires to draw some comparisons and conclusions about their impacts. These two bulls will be, I'm sure you guys have heard of them before, 14H3831 Marion and 14H4148 Nifty. And these are about as opposite of sires as they come, but each with extreme desirable traits. Marion daughters were impressive frame cows, big time production, while Nifty daughters excelled at becoming pregnant easily and lasted many lactations and many times were unnoticed by farmers. Interestingly, both of these sires did spend time in the top 10 Holstein TPI list during the mid-2000s, with both bulls siring thousands of daughters uh, contributing information to confirm the genetic evaluations uh, that are of the highest reliability. So two completely different sort of bulls here with each highlighted traits. Now what does productive life tell us about these two bulls? So the trait for productive life provides one overarching conclusion about the longevity of the daughters from these two bulls. Uh, Nifty is going to have daughters that will leave the herd later than marrying daughters in general, almost a full lactation, when you consider Nifty's positive 7.3 and Marion's minus 2.5. But why is this exactly? Productive life gives a good overview of the longevity in a herd, but in order to see the full picture, we need to dig a little bit deeper to figure out why this is happening. So now we look to the wellness traits and what they can show us. So the Marion daughters were large framed cows that milked incredibly well, but had trouble breeding back. Uh, in addition, uh, they clearly had a hard time staying in the herd. Meanwhile, the Nifty Daughters, smaller framed cows, more fertile in general, and lasted a long time without attracting any attention. Many farmers who use these two bulls would easily paint a similar picture without looking even at their genetic evaluations at all. Similarly, the wellness traits in these two sires matched with what many farmers already knew. This ad additional information from these sires sheds light into the questions that productive life may raise. Now we begin to look at the daughters of Marion that had trouble staying in the herd because of ketosis and lameness, which stand out right away. In contrast, daughters of Nifty stayed in the herd much longer because of low incidence rates of lameness, retained placenta, and metritis. Now here we can see just how much of an outlier these two sires really are. Nifty has values of 108 for both lameness and retained placenta, which puts him just shy of two standard deviations above the average, which is about the 94th percentile. Uh, for incidence of these diseases. Meanwhile, Marion shows a value of 85 for ketosis, which is about three standard deviations below the average, or approximately the bottom 99th percentile for this trait. Overall, the direct selection from the additional uh, values of these wellness traits gives a more detailed picture about how and why cows leave the herd early in addition to the productive life value. The Dairy Wellness Profit Index has a 30% weight on these six wellness traits and partially because of this, there is more variation in values between bulls. Continuing with our example, there's about a five, there is a 510 point spread between Nifty and Marion for DWP. While only 263 points separate these two bulls on the net merit scale, and 230 points separate these two bulls on the TPI scale. This amount of difference between these bulls on the DWP scale is a huge difference and is directly because of the additional wellness information not available in the, in the other indices, as well as a variation between formulas. Overall, the value gained from allowing the wellness traits to fill in the missing pieces from productive life will separate bulls very quickly and propel better selection because of the additional variation in the Dairy Wellness Profit Index. For more information about wellness traits at Accelerated Genetics' elite lineup of DWP bulls, check out our website at www.excelgen.com or visit with your Accelerated Genetics sales rep today. Thank you very much.